all confidence intervals have this structure, point estimate plus or minus margin of error. Our confidence interval is 272 to 512. We can use the midpoint formula to find the middle of the interval is 392. That's our point estimate, 392 years. Now that we know our point estimate is 392, if we add and subtract our margin of error, we'll get our interval. So let's take the upper limit of our interval, 512, and subtract out the point estimate. That leaves us with 120. That's our margin of error. The confidence level can be interpreted like this. If we were to take all possible samples of 28 Greenland sharks and construct confidence intervals for lifespan, 95.4% of the confidence intervals would capture the true lifespan of the Greenland shark. We can determine how increasing the confidence level will affect the width of our interval. The margin of error is the product of the critical value and the standard deviation of the statistic. If the confidence level increases, the critical value increases, and so does the margin of error. Thus, the width of the interval would increase. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.